afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Monday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio, I have Chris from White Pie. Chris, welcome. Larry, thanks for having me. So um, I booked this show about a month in advance, and um, sometimes I don't pay attention to the calendar. Like when I booked Troy Gard for episode 100, it happened to be on Labor Day. And today <laughs> happens to be Yom Kippur, so I can't eat. It's a day of fasting, day of repentance of my religion. So I'm just going to torture myself here because uh, I do love white pie, and this is just really sad for me. Give us a little history of you and white pie. So white pie came to be, well, my brother and I live in New Haven, Connecticut. We grew up eating Sally's Pizza on Worcester Street, which sure. is like the pizza, you know, mega epic center of the world, basically. So we grew up eating this really whoa, big... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mega epicenter, epicenter of, 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 of pizza. For of us, New, in, in of New Haven style yeah, pizza. Absolutely. I'm a New Yorker, so. I mean, you know, I mean, I think people look at New Haven still as a pizza mecca. Yeah. It, it still, and, stand, and, it still and, stands out for such a small state. It's, it's very, very potent. What is New Haven style pizza? New Haven style pizza, you know, was uh, born from guys from Naples back in the day, in the early 1900s, and they started cooking breads in wood fired, actually coal fired ovens, mm -hmm. and they started slinging pizza on the street in, in pizza cars, basically. Really thin crust. Lots of char because that coal is such a very strong, uh, kind of violent fire. You get a very, very nice, crispy, charred crust. So New Haven pizza is pretty much always rolled by a rolling pin. Very thin, very charred, kind of light on the toppings. And so you opened on where are you located? We're located in Uptown. We're uh, yeah. basically on the corner of Humboldt between 17th and 18th Street, and uh, we've been open for three years now. And you got a nice little patio there. Uh, have you expanded it? No, we've got the same pattern we've had for the past three years. We have a, a wood-fired oven, actually. That's the difference between us and New Haven. We actually do wood-fired. Okay. Uh, but it's also very, very uh, live, strong fire every single day. We cook it about 900 degrees. So it takes like a minute? Takes about, no, it takes about two, two and a half minutes. Really? Uh, we make our dough in-house, obviously, 48-hour 48, 48 ferment. We use an in-house starter. So we're pretty much hands-on, and we try to make everything from scratch. And what else do you do there besides pizzas? Uh, we do some pasta. We do a, an amazing 10-layer pasta. Oh, so we layer this that. pasta with bolognese and bechamel, tons of Parmesan cheese, lots of melted butter. We roast that in the wood-fired oven. It comes out with a beautiful gratin on top. Nice. We do uh, some great salads. We do a burrata plate, which I brought you today. And, Are you uh, making your own burrata? We don't make our own burrata. We actually get it from a family from Stanford, Connecticut. Good friends of ours. They make it in Connecticut, burrata? in Connecticut, yeah. I don't know. Trying to, no. trying to stay true to our roots in New Haven. All right. so we got the Connecticut area. Um, do you do happy hour? We do happy hour. Uh, you know, it kind of changed. The hours changed with the pandemic and whatnot. Uh -huh. But we're just relaunching happy hour from 3 to 6. We're coming up with a bunch of new appetizers. We've got great frosés. We've got an incredible limoncello that's also frozen. And some of these drinks are going to be on the new happy hour menu. So, so you do discounted food and drinks on discounted happy hour? Discounted food and drinks on happy hour, yeah. Okay. And uh, what, do you, are your, what are your hours these days? Hours, we are open uh, Monday through Sunday. We're open seven days a week. We open at noon right now, every single day, until noon to 10 p.m. And do you do delivery? We do delivery through third-party vendors. So, okay. you know, all those guys out there online, you can get delivery. But he prefers you come and get it. Yeah, there's nothing like having a pizza fresh out of the oven. Yeah. You know? you and this pizza it. specifically yeah. is yeah. really meant to be eaten there, I think. Pizza's, pizza's okay, come out of a box, you know, but it's really meant to be eaten right away. You know, you get that crispness to it. You get that kind of still juicy flavor going. It's, it's the only way to do it. And uh, let's talk about what you brought me for lunch today that I'm not going to be eating. I, I, <laughs> I brought you a quintessential New Haven pie. This is called the Polly Walnuts. This one right this here. This one right here. It's mashed potatoes, okay. tons of garlic. Uh, we finished it with candy walnuts. There's some bacon on there and some fresh parsley. It's, you know, you wouldn't think mashed potatoes and, and pizza, but it's, it's a phenomenal combination. And, and this is traditional in New Haven? You'll, you'll see this see, everywhere? You'll see mashed potato on pizzas in New Haven, yeah. Not everywhere, but, but it's definitely out there. It makes sense. I mean, I don't think I, I would eat the hell out of that. Kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving a little Hopefully bit. Hopefully they save me some for tomorrow, maybe. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, and you can see, like, how crispy that is. And just beautiful. It's all about the char. you got some nice, you know, leopards on the bottom there. You really want to get that black, crispy crust. Did you say down. leopards? You know, the, the leopard, the black leopard look. I did not know. That. I've not spotted, heard that term before. Spotted leopard, yeah. That's what we so call you're it. looking for the leopard. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to this bad boy right here. That looks amazing. This is the health specialty. This is you know the pie that we name the restaurant after the white pie. Mm -hmm. We have creme fraiche on there. We have a uh, nice smoked bacon, cremini mushrooms, and we finish it with a beautiful sunny side up egg. This pie was actually inspired by my wife. My wife's from France, and she kind of put this flavor profile together for me. So this is not traditional in this New Haven. This is not traditional in New Haven. White pies are traditional, yeah. but this is kind of like my like, modern version. They do a clam one? They do a clam. They do yeah. a lot of the just white with double garlic and black olives. and you know They call it a Bianca, usually back east. We should probably pop that egg uh, at some point. I'll we'll get onto this one, then shot. we'll pop the egg. 
This is something we're working on. We've been teasing for a couple months now. We started working on this during the uh, shutdown. We were still doing delivery pie and wanted to come up with another option for delivery that kind of holds better. Mm -hmm. This is a Sicilian style pie. My dad, when he was a kid, used to work at his, his uh, great uncle's bakery in Schenectady, New York. Oh, and uh, they had Sicilian pies all the time. So we kind of worked on that. Based on that inspiration, came up with this. And can you make the Sicilian in the same oven? We do. Well, no, we don't. We have a, a pizza master, uh, like I say, triple no deck oven. We, we make it back there. We cook it about 500 degrees. Yeah. So definitely a different preparation, different dough, different style. But it's it's light, it's airy. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty it's pretty unbelievable. I'm a huge Sicilian guy. And then uh, when I got to this town and express in the last few years, I've been seeing Detroit style. Detroit style, which yeah, to me yeah. is Sicilian. You know, it's kind of a spin-off. Yeah. I mean, like in the pizza world, you get lots of spinoffs, and uh, Detroit style seems to be a spinoff from Sicilian. They had, you know, these Wisconsin brick cheese because that's where they were, that's what they could get, and, you know, just kind of a, I guess it just kind of evolves from there. Let's look at this beautiful burrata right here. These tomatoes are phenomenal. Where are you getting your tomatoes from? Those are uh, baby heirloom tomatoes. We get them locally. Yeah. And these are, uh, it's a mix right now. The colors change, obviously, with the season. We've got a beautiful mix there, some green, some red, some yellow, and, um, that's just a beautiful burrata from Connecticut, like I said, the Liuzzi family. Uh, we do a spicy hot honey on it that we cook in-house, we make in-house, we infuse honey with different chilies, some dry, some fresh. Uh, it gives a great kind of zest to the honey. We put that on top, lots of olive oil, our house-made focaccia, that kind of comes from our pizza dough. And uh, that's a great, that's one of our most popular appetizers. So I'm gonna bring in Evan right now. He's gonna have a bite because, well, I technically can't. Uh, let's just give you this one since it's a cut already here, Evan. I'm excited. Pizza's my favorite. And mashed potatoes. Got double garlic on the bottom, lots of olive oil. Not All right, here we go. Bacon. Make sure you do it right. I was supposed to say, let's eat, right? Yeah. I... But that's how you end the show. I'm just oh, saying, Oh, you want to do it how you want it? <laughs> well, thank you. I do appreciate it. Let's eat. <laughs> More enthusiasm. Come on. All right, Who get back over mashed there. potato on a pizza? That is amazing. Holy smokes. I'm gonna chop this egg and spin it around a bit. Um, yeah, go ahead and give it a stab. You can give it a stab. Maybe you should do it. More than happy to. Uh, Chris, yeah. thanks for coming in. So good to meet you. Give me your website. Uh, website, you can check us out at White Pie Pizzeria. White Pie Pizzeria. Pizzeria. And then are you coming back tomorrow? I am gonna be back tomorrow. So tomorrow they're coming with their other concept, Dos Santos. Dos Santos. Uh, Two locations there, Uptown and Colorado Springs. Our version of Mexican food based on the Yucatan, the Yucatan Peninsula. Look at that egg. For, for those of you who don't think egg goes on pizza, you'd be definitely wrong. I'm going to help myself. Oh, <laughs> so sad. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. I can't even say let's eat because I'm not eating. See you tomorrow.